to this certification catalyst uh, uh, series this is CJ 2020 series and this question number 20 so your build pipeline produces build artifacts like DLLs or just how can you preserve these files for future reference or to download them later so you have a build pipeline it is giving you uh, DLLs or just and you need to preserve those files for future reference or download later it's a very simple question but very important for you to know in the sense that you are going to need it in your actual day to day so okay let me see what I can do if I have some pipeline which is uh, maven build maybe this one will be a good thing uh, 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 configure, configure. Oh, yes configure let me see uh -huh. no this is not that one shit this is not that one source code maybe this one SCM job uh, configure let me see this looks much like it ah good so see what is happening is that I have a job okay now for example this job is producing some artifact and I want to store that artifact for future reference okay just like test.txt okay so I think it would make much more sense if I can show that one sorry guys just getting a little confused I think this one will make more sense because yeah good I have artifacts so see what is happening here is that this is the say I don't add this okay so I'm not archiving the artifacts as such okay so my artifacts will be in the workspace directory but they will not be archived as such right now if I archive the artifact then I can basically use that artifact later on right uh, for other use cases like downloading them later so to do that I have to add this step called archive the artifact where I have to tell them what is that artifact that I want to archive so here the artifact will be text.txt okay and then I can also do uh, some things like fingerprint those artifacts archive artifacts only if the build is successful and step like that and there is another perspective of about that artifact retention yes see discard old builds so if you go here you can see days to keep the artifact so you can keep how many number of days you can keep an artifact and the uh, number of days for your artifacts can be different from the number of days of your build also so it's very important to know that artifact is a very important thing so all of your outputs or your binaries or your codes will mostly be artifacts okay now these artifacts you can save it here like in Jenkins but that is not a very good thing you should store it in an artifact repository it can be a nexus repository it can be artifactory it can be s3 it can be a job blob so somewhere which is cheap and you can store your artifacts from where you can download it very easily later on but you have to understand that there is this concept of artifacts and you have to archive the artifacts okay if you want to download them later okay so if you come here you will see that uh, your build pipeline produces build artifacts like DLLs or JAWS how can you preserve these files so you need to basically add the so answer is C at the post build step to archive the artifact the archive files will be accessible from the Jenkins web page and uh, there is nothing called uh, nothing like artifact repository plugin enabling fingerprinting will not just help you to store artifacts okay if you do an archive artifact you can also enable fingerprinting okay as a sub steps and then there are other plugins which lets you do fingerprinting even without archiving but it is not the purpose of this question the use promoted builds nothing to do with this okay there is no concept like this so you have to use this post build step to archive the artifacts now regarding the artifact definition I just wanted to see if I could just show you that thing Jenkins uh, glossary uh, yes I think this is what I wanted to show you artifact is yes. so see what is an artifact it's an immutable file which is generated during a build or pipeline run which is archived onto the Jenkins master for later retrieval by user so your output of your build pipeline basically is an artifact now you have to archive it to a repository so that you can refer to it later on in future your other pipelines and stuff like that can refer to your archive okay and a good place to store your archives is a third-party cloud storage also anyways that is uh, something else so anyway, so as you see the answer is C at the build post build step to archive the artifacts archive files will be accessible from the Jenkins web page 
So very easy to answer, but it's a good one because you need your these concepts for your freestyle jobs, for your pipelines and everything. Thank you and have a nice day.